Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to show you how to be naturally pretty, which sounds so bad when I say it out loud, but the amount of times I get asked this question, I was like, do you know what? We're just gonna do it and I'm gonna show you how I personally make myself feel like naturally pretty. Regardless of how bad it sounds saying that, I know for a fact at the moment I'm so much more into natural glam as opposed to full face like boom. I can't remember the last time that I wore false lashes which is just absolutely nuts. So yeah I'm going to talk you through my current skincare faves, how I kind of keep my skin as clear as possible and then I'm going to show you the makeup that I use to kind of make myself feel the best version of myself. I feel like what I'm about to talk about in this video, a ton of you have been waiting so long to kind of, like, to come and for me to talk about it. So we're finally doing it. And if you know what it is, then you're going to be like, oh, okay. So just starting with, like, skincare. Obviously, my skincare routine changes quite frequently. I'm always trying new things. But I feel like recently I've definitely found something that is a staple in my skincare routine it hasn't come out of my travel makeup bag for the last like month which means i've taken it everywhere with me and used it on the daily like at home so first thing i'm going to talk about like my skincare routine things that i've added in firstly being this so this is the visibly clear pink grapefruit daily scrub from neutrogena now this helps eliminate and prevent like spots blackheads i'm really into like exfoliants and scrubs because i tend to fake tan my face it's pretty much tanned all the time and if I ever look ill, it's because I didn't tan it. And I just, I like to keep everything moving and I like to just be removing it all the time, reapplying it, and a scrub is great for that. But also, I like to use things that are kind of in the same system, if that makes sense. So the moisturiser that I'm going to be using today that I've been using a ton is the Visibly Clear Pink Grapefruit Oil-Free Moisturiser. Now, I do just want to throw in there, there is another one from Neutrogena that I love, which is the uh, spot-proofing one. I'm not using that at the minute because I'm at home and I just don't feel like my skin kind of needs it. But when I was travelling, this was my go-to just because... I'm so prone to spots when I travel. I don't know what it is. I'm like, I'm getting better. I feel like with this and with what I'm about to show you, like my new fave product, my spots were a lot less. Like, I didn't get any of those under skin spots. And if I did, I managed to get rid of them super quick. So the thing that a ton of you have been asking about, because this has been all over my Snapchat, Insta story is this. And this is the Neutrogena Visibly Clear Light Therapy Targeted Acne Spot Treatment. A mouthful, but it looks like this pretty much. Now I'm gonna, I wanna do this as part of my routine anyway, so I'm just gonna talk whilst I'm using it. So what I'm about to do is just pop it over my spot and press the on button down here. I'm gonna pop it on this spot down here. Now I've got quite a few on my face that I need a bit of love, but we're just gonna go so I can actually talk at the same time. So I've been testing this out for about a month and I started in December. What you do is you just pop it over the spot and you turn the on button on. Now this automatically turns off after two minutes. So the treatment time is two minutes and it's recommended three times a day. So I tend to do it like when I wake up and then I'll do it either just after I've taken my makeup off, if I know I'm gonna take it off around, you know, like before I go to bed, then I'll do it before I go to bed. Or if I know I'm gonna have a day where I'm not gonna, you know, have time before getting home and things like that, I'll do it just before I put my makeup on and then I will do it just before bed. I haven't found it like an inconvenience or anything. It's just become part of my routine and it has made such a difference. So of course you wanna make sure like you've washed and dried your face before you use this. Just, I kind of think it goes without saying, like you wanna make sure you've got a clean face. And it is literally as easy as just holding it on the blemish. So without getting all scientific, which I will in a moment, the reason I love this is because it's not using hard chemicals on the skin. It doesn't affect kind of like your top layer of skin. What it does, it uses light to penetrate the skin and it gets rid of like the bacteria and the inflammation like underneath the skin. I mean, I'm just gonna read off here so you can see, but it says the light therapy is a clinically proven effective acne technology used by dermatologists over a decade. The energy from red and blue lights gently filters through the skin has been scientifically proven to target acne causing bacteria, reducing the appearance of spots. Blue light targets acne causing bacteria whilst the red light penetrates deeper to reduce inflammation. So pretty much like I said, it focuses on getting rid of the bacteria and stopping inflammation. I would say it probably takes three days from like for me personally how my skin is to kind of eliminate my spot pretty much completely like to the point where I don't need to do anything to it anymore which is massive because never before have I found anything that actually works and I know like I, I found products that I like but 
never before have I been like, okay, this needs to be on me 24 seven in case I get a spot. I also think this is great because once you initially invest in it, you don't have to buy another one. Like it doesn't run out. You just replace the batteries. And as well for someone like me, like you guys know how my skin is. I get the odd spot every so often. I get hormonal spots. And this is great because it targets them specific spots instead of kind of affecting the whole of my face, which I really appreciate. I just think that's like the best thing. Say, so as you heard, it just beeped and then I'm done for my treatment, like for now. But yeah, I was super excited when Neutrogena said to me like a couple months back, they're like, Emily, we think this product is the one for you. And I was like, okay, like I don't really know. I'll give it a go. And I've been trying it for over a month now and they were right. <laughs> like they were just like, they're like, what are your skin concerns? And I explained and they were like, look, this is the thing that you need. And I have to agree. It's pretty much changed like m how I deal with spots. But if you want to give it a go, I will link it down below along with all the other things. But it's just part of my routine now. I took it like with me when I went away. And yeah, I'm just going to apply my moisturizer now. That is generally how it goes. Yeah, just, just thought I'd let you in on a little uh, skincare hack that I've been loving recently. Another thing that I've been making more of an effort to do is exfoliate my lips. So the thing that I've been loving is the L'Oreal Lip Scrub. Now this is great because it's just in a tube like this. It's not messy. So I just run this over my lips. And I feel like for feeling and looking naturally pretty, I feel like you almost have to be the best version of yourself, but without like feeling glammed up if that makes sense so I want to make sure that like my skin's as hydrated as it can be my lips aren't all like chapped and gross and I just feel like using a lip scrub is something that makes such a difference and I love this one 100% recommend pretty sure you can get this on ASOS I will link it down below onto eye cream I feel like I'm using the same eye cream that I used in my last get ready with me this is the Udo Henriksen uh, banana bright eye cream and I don't know about you this is gonna sound really silly and I've never spoken about this online before but I feel like I want to say it does anyone feel like their certain skincare products, eye creams being the main one, like they disappear? Like I could not open this eye cream for two weeks, open it, and there'll be like none left. Is that is that me being silly or is that genuinely what happens to eye cream? Because I swear I had so much of my other eye cream left and then I opened it and there was none left and I was just a bit like, where's it gone? Uh, I don't know if that's like a thing, but let me know if you know because I'm so confused. My skin feels so good. And I'm so happy about it. I also just want to add in something that I always make sure I do when I'm doing my makeup is use hand sanitizer. This is Ling's collaboration with Mercy Handy. Love you, Ling. And this is like brilliant. But I just think when you're doing your makeup, the last thing you want is to get any kind of bacteria on your skin. So I always make sure I have hand sanitizer close to me. Even when I'm traveling with my makeup, like one of these is always in my travel makeup bag. Priming again is a massive thing, especially when I'm wanting to feel kind of naturally pretty. The thing that I focus on most is my kind of my skin and priming everything so this is the Too Faced shadow insurance this is my fave eye primer ever I feel like this has been my favorite eye primer for a good two or three years and they last for so long this is only the second one I've ever had and like I've only just opened it so it lasts me about two years which is absolutely nuts and of course I'm gonna pop some of that in my brows because I want my eyebrows to stay on all day I feel like you're not gonna be shocked with the next product but if you haven't tried this, then you need to. It's the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is brilliant. I'm on my second one of these. This is a great primer because not only does it prime your skin, but it feels so refreshing at the same time. And I just think the last thing that I want when I apply my makeup is it to feel all like gross and sticky and just oily. This just feels so fresh. It's like, it feels like you're putting a moisturizer on, but it's a primer. This is definitely up there with like my all time favorite primers, like without a doubt. So on days like this, I tend to start with skin products instead of eyes, which is really weird for me, but this is what I do on like the day to day. So this is my current love, the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Light Beige. Now, one thing I would advise if you don't have this foundation and you're purchasing it is to get a lighter shade than you think you need because this is light beige. Uh, actually, to be fair, no, they do go super, super light, but I just kind of like saw... The colour, I, I, I picked almond up and I was like, oh, maybe. And no, no, no. <laughs> this is like beige and this is even, like, I mean, it's, it's perfect for me at the moment, but I wouldn't need any darker. But this is my new absolute love. I've only worn it a handful of times, but every time it's just worn so well. And I love how it kind of works with the concealer, the Born This Way concealer, which, by the way, I'm going to show you in a second. It's like the greatest thing. I tried it a while back. And I think I must have just tried the wrong shade because I wasn't that keen. 
and then I tried this new shade that I've got and I just oh, I love it it works so well I love how with all the skincare products that I've gotten underneath there's such a natural glow coming through and then this baby so this is massive like the applicator is massive you could use this for foundation if you wanted to and this is like one of them products that would be a great more to use one like if you didn't want to take foundation on holiday for example it would be great just to take one of these concealers in your kind of your natural skin tone as opposed to like lighter and just use that uh, but I think this is great it works so well I like using this actually really weirdly with a dry beauty blender not that it needs it for coverage but like it's just how I found best now this is like semi damp it's not completely damp but just the brightness this gives is just next level and it's not cakey you guys know how I feel about the Tarte shape tape it's my absolute life and I love the L'Oreal True Match as well. This, do you know what I would say? This is an in-between of those two. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely so right. This is literally bang in the middle of them two concealers, which I love both of them. I always try and use other products that aren't my beauty blender, and without fail, every single time, I come running back to it, and I just can't not use it. I feel like if you've never tried a like an actual beauty blender, as in like the official beauty blender ones, then maybe like next time it's your birthday or something, pop it on your list or save up they're about 16 pounds and i just like you're gonna be absolutely blown away because they are the best thing going like i cannot even explain how much i love them if someone said to me what top five makeup things can't you live without this would without a doubt be one to set that i'm gonna use my Too faced it's banana setting powder this is a new product actually and i haven't used like a yellow tone setting powder in probably like three no two years but i picked this up i tried it and i was like oh my gosh i love it so this is like a firm favorite right now super great for brightening and i think as well when it comes to wanting to feel like your best feeling naturally pretty brightness is everything just gonna add some bronze into my face with my l'oreal infallible sculpt stick this is in the shade uh 210 so yeah like brightness and like bronzing for me are what make me feel the most kind of naturally pretty i feel like if i don't put concealer on i don't feel like the best version of myself is in like brightening concealer and then same with like bronzer like i could ditch foundation i could ditch everything else on my face but not the highlighting and kind of contouring step of my makeup the reason i'm so in love with this l'oreal sculpt stick for kind of bronzing is because although it's a foundation stick it is oil free so it's not going to go oily throughout the day it's not going to move it's not going to slip it sets down to a nice kind of powdered consistency so you wouldn't actually know it's like a liquid product so instead of using like a concealer that i feel like they just stick to your face this is actually kind of meant for this purpose it's meant to be kind of blended in and things and not just i feel like a lot of concealers are just meant for like spot concealers and it just doesn't work which is why i'm not afraid to use this slightly over the powder that i've got like that just blended so easily on my nose because this does you know it blends really easily sets down to a powder and i just i love how this looks and of course it's drugstore which we love it's affordable and it just like look at that like obviously there's a foundation the same foundation as this but for me, I just, I love using this to bronze and contour. So if I'm being completely honest, I could easily stop here and be happy and feel like naturally pretty with how my face looks. But I'm going to carry on just for kind of, I feel like I don't want to leave it half finished. But as it goes, my base, I feel like makes such a difference. And my base just feels flawless right now, which is the best feeling in the world. The next two things you can kind of choose what you want. I thought I would show you both options. So when it comes to the whole kind of feeling naturally pretty, I try to put as little powder on my face as possible. So if I can opt for a cream product, I will. So this is my current favorite cream blush. This is the shade Rosy Nude from L'Oreal, it's shade zero two. Again, it's the same uh, product as what I use to bronze. However, if I'm wanting a powder, then I love the infallible blush paints. I pretty much mix all these together, although my favorite is this one. But you can do either, just for the sake of today, just because obviously we're trying to keep it as natural and as kind of flawless as possible. I'm gonna go for this one, which is just the cream one. And I just apply it with a brush, get the excess off on my hand, and then just dab this on my cheeks. I also really like to pop this on my chin and my nose just to tie everything together. And blush makes such a difference. If you don't wear blush, try it. 
just try it because you will be absolutely blown away there are good like max factor have gorgeous blushes obviously these l'oreal ones are amazing i mean to be fair if you don't own any blush and you're wanting to get into it grab this because it's got so many different ones these work really well as this one is an eyeshadow oh my gosh it's perfect this is my fave but i also love to mix them all together so yeah the infallible blush paint is an absolute winner uh even though i mean even though i didn't use it i will link it down below if you do want to check it out but I just, blush makes such a difference. I'm going to put the tiniest bit of bronzer on. I feel like I don't really need to, but I just want this kind of bronzer just to be set a little bit. I mean, obviously it sets to a powder anyway, but this is just me thinking of like longevity throughout the day. I'm using my Too Faced Dark Chocolate Matte Bronzer. This is a current fave. And I'm just going to pop that around the perimeter, down my neck. I'm just using my stippling brush from Real Techniques and I actually really like this for bronzing. I think it works really well. Next we're going to highlight and this is one of my favourite bits. I love a glowy look. You might not but again when it comes to feeling naturally pretty I just love a bit of glow. So this is the Livion Glow Palette from L'Oreal. I love this one just here. This is my fave. Obviously as you can tell I use them all but this is like my most used and it's just like a champagne-y kind of colour but I, I like my highlighter to look glowy but like I feel like if it's a natural colour then it's fine whereas I feel like if it's a like not a very natural highlight color then it can be a bit much but I'm just gonna pop some of this under the brow as well I love this so much and the tiny bit in my inner corner the next couple steps I feel like are what really changed this for me to like a complete look so eyeliner I know a ton of you are gonna be like that's pointless but for me this changes everything if I leave the house without this then I notice so this is the shade brownie from Marc Jacobs and this is what's this called just their highliner matte gel crayon again this is one of them things that if someone asked me my top few makeup products this would be in it if this ran out I would go out and buy another one straight away and like I just feel like the few things that I notice if I miss them one being highlighter another being mascara another being this i would like if i left the house and i got outside and i realized i didn't have this on i would go back in and put it on <laughs> it just changes the whole look it also means i don't have to put eyeliner on like my outer kind of lid if that makes sense and it, this is just way easier and not messy at all and this lasts all day let's do some brows so when i'm wanting to go for a more kind of natural brow i like to start with my brow gel this is anastasia's wow i just got on my face let's try that again this is Anastasia's brow gel in the shade Granite and I feel like when I start with this I then know what areas I actually have to fill in and where they're sparse so I end up with a more natural brow which I quite like. And then to fill in those areas I love this. This is the Brow Contour Pro from Benefit. The reason I love this so much is because it's got different shades so if I feel like I need something a bit lighter then I can just grab the lighter one. And if I need something a bit darker to kind of shape and underline as I'm doing right now, then I can just grab that one. It's brilliant. So this is like still a relatively new product in my collection, but it's something that stayed in high rotation, which says an, a lot about it. I feel like Benefit just know how to nail brows. Like they know what we want and they just bring it out. So I'm just grabbing the lighter shade and going to fill in this bit just before I brush it out and then to brush that out and set it I'm going to be using my 24 hour brow setter wow I can't remember the name I always forget the name of this one product like do you ever have that thing where there's certain products where it just slips your mind you may use them every single day and you know exactly what they look like but if someone asks you what it's called you're like I don't know. I think because it's such a simple name, I'm like overcomplicating it in my head. Keeping my brows natural is my favourite thing to do because I feel like as soon as I go a bit kind of heavy on the brows, it's the first thing that I notice and I'm really self-conscious about it. So yeah, that is like the main thing for me, keeping them as natural as possible. So to make sure everything ties in, I'm going to use my bronzer as my first eyeshadow, as my, my crease colour. We all know I have enough eyeshadow to last me an absolute lifetime, but this is just one habit that I have not been able to kick. I just think using bronzer as an eyeshadow just is like the best thing you can do. Not only does it save space when you're traveling, but it just, I feel like it really ties a look together because it's like the same. Again, like I like to keep my eyes as simple as possible when I'm trying to feel like naturally pretty as opposed to going like all out. So the shadow that I'm loving at the minute is this L'Oreal one. This is in the shade Onana. It's from the Camila Cabello collection. And this is like such a similar consistency to the Makeup Geek one that I love for ages. I'm pretty sure that was in the shade Grandstand. I could be wrong. But anything that's like shimmery, neutral toned, not too dark, not too light, 
is just such a winner for me look it just adds that little bit of like something and i really just feel like this tops the look off especially when you're putting highlighter in like your inner corner as well it's just such an easy look and it just looks so polished and then of course the max factor 2000 calorie is out this is still in absolute full force fave oh i'm supposed to go and buy another one of these today but i didn't do it i need to go and get one because both of mine are running low i have two at the same time and they both always seem to run out at the same time <laughs> i don't know how i manage it lashes are absolutely everything for me i feel so much prettier when i have flirty lashes and i've been using this new lash product from l'oreal which i'll be able to tell you about very very soon but it's just like the best thing ever and my lashes are thriving from it and then for lips i feel like a massive thing for me is finding like that lip color it's still something that i'm looking for we all know that I love Velvet Teddy, but I feel like it's got to a point where I need something else. So this is a new one that I've been trying from Bobbi Brown, and it's in the shade Brown Berry. I feel like it's very kind of Velvet Teddy-y, but in like a slightly different way. I really like that. What do you think to the lip? I know some of you aren't going to be that keen, but I think, I think it's good. And then another massive thing for me is using Setting Spray. This is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Priming and Setting Spray. Like I said, I like to not use much powder when I'm kind of trying to keep things natural. So I like to just apply this and then I'll either leave it or bounce it in with my beauty blender and then there's no powder in sight. Your makeup's going to stay on all day and it just looks super natural. And I always make the weirdest faces when I do this, so like, don't look. <laughs> it's my favourite setting spray. Look how, like, glowing my face is because of that. I'm just going to bounce it in. And this is the finished look. Now, as you can tell, I'm so passionate about all the products that I shared with you today. I wouldn't be sharing them if I wasn't. Like, I can 100% guarantee you, if you go out and try these products, then you're going to be like, oh fair play you know it's actually really good otherwise i wouldn't be showing you so i'm super grateful that neutrogena wanted to work with me on this video which was you know it's a massive thing for me because i love the product and i just i really hope you enjoyed seeing how i create my natural but pretty makeup look how i save my skin when my spots are annoying me so much and yeah just i really hope you enjoyed this video if you have please give it a massive thumbs up all of the product details will be down below like everything will be listed so I hope that's helpful for you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!